Hey, how's it going everyone? I hope that you guys are all having an amazing day. This video is going to be a short, fun, experimental video inside of Grounded, all because Justin B recently posed the challenge on my unlimited ant egg video, which was to see if I can't take those ant eggs and transplant them into the abandoned ant hole to see if we can't repopulate that ant hill. And I thought, what a beautiful thing to do. Wow. So in this episode of Ants Grounded, we here have the rare opportunity to transplant an entire species of ant from one hill into a completely different environment where they will have to adapt to survive. So today we are going to find out if the Groundimus minimus ant species has what it takes to survive a complete and total habitat transplant. Since we now have an unlimited supply of these ant eggs, check out that video if you haven't already. And because the abandoned ant hill is right beside my oak tree mansion, which will allow me to monitor the progress of the ant colony closely, this is the perfect opportunity for a transplant. We are going to need much more than just four ant eggs to successfully repopulate this entire colony though. So let's first go down to our egg harvesting machine and get us some prime Groundimus minimus ant eggs. Oh no, it looks like something has gone horribly wrong with our ant egg duplication machine. This is not supposed to be happening. Thankfully, Grounded has now added this nifty tool here that will reset all of the bugs locations, which will hopefully help us to further diagnose what exactly went wrong here. One hour later. Hmm, well, about an hour after tinkering and also this nasty bee attack. I think I have figured out what is happening here, which is I'm not sure exactly what is going on here. There seem to be a lot of spawns that are now coming from the outside of the anthill, as well as the spawns that normally come from the inside of the anthill, and somehow these ants also keep getting up and around my walls. Five hours later. But finally, after about another hour of tinkering, we hit the sweet spot again. As you can see, we are now getting 12 plus eggs per trip, just like we were before. Let me know down in the comments if you would be interested in seeing a video where I rework and perfect this ant egg machine. But now that we have an excellent amount of eggs, it is time to go and deposit them into their new habitat. that our beautiful colony has started to hatch, we are going to go and disguise ourselves sneakily in our Groundimus Maximus gear here so that we are going to be able to blend in amongst the ants colony and get a closer look than ever before. They all seem to be making themselves right at home around the hole, which is a beautiful sign that their colony is going to live after all. Only time is going to tell what is going to happen though, but for now, I think it's time that we give them some privacy so that they can reestablish their home in this unusual surrounding. If you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button. Also, let me know down in the comments what we should do with this group of ants. 
or what we should do in the backyard next. Other than that, I hope you all have an amazing day. I'm out.